So now we have finished with the chapter fundamentals, and we're moving on to the chapter two, determinants. Okay. And obviously we're going to be doing calculating determinants. Okay. Okay. So it says that the determinant is a function which takes as its input an n by n matrix, or I don't know why they use capital N here, but whatever, or n vectors, each of their n entries. Okay, because of course an n by n matrix, you can consider each column to be a vector, and then you'd have n vectors. So it's n by n, okay, so it's a square matrix. So it's a square matrix and produces its output a single value. Okay, so, sing so it takes an n by n matrix and gives you a single number out. There are many ways we could define such a function. E.g., we could induce a function that assigns to every square matrix the value in this top left corner, i.e., this function detects matrix, top left of A is A11. Okay, of course. Uh, this is easy to calculate, but not particularly useful. The determinant is a much more useful function. It's defined in the following way, but don't worry too much about this definition. The determinant is a unique function from, from n copies of Rn. Okay, so unique function that takes... Uh, so, of course, they must here, they must be saying, they must, they're assuming that there are there are n such, there are n such copies of Rn. So, n vectors, n vectors, each, n vectors, each with n entries, to real numbers, with real number out. Okay. So it's a unique function that is defined by the following three properties. It's alternating, i.e., switching two of the inputs changes the sign of the output. It's multilinear. In other words, oh, if you multiply one of the, the vectors by a scalar, you multiply the result by a scalar. If you add something, if you, if you have a sum of two vectors in one of the arguments, then you add, you add the determinant of the, of the thing with the first one in there and the determinant of the thing with the second one in there. Okay. And also, it assigns to the set of canonical basis vectors, so that E1, E2 to En, where, you know, so EI is that vector which has zeros everywhere, but I in the, on the, and I on, but one on the I throw, right? Okay. It assigns to the set of canonical basis vectors a value of one. I, the determinants of, is one. Okay, but this definition is difficult to work with. Okay, this definition is difficult to work with, and it's not at all clear how the determinant of a particular metric should be calculated. Right, this doesn't, I mean, this just says that it's a unique function that, that is thing like this, but nothing here shows, nothing here, there's no reason for us to believe that there is such a unique function, though there is, it turns out. And it doesn't tell us how we would actually calculate the determinant. So we're going to adopt a more pragmatic approach in the following section, and we jump right into computing determinants. All you need to know is that the slightly odd-looking computations have a sound theoretical justification and agree with the definition above. We will show that this is true a little later in the course. Okay, so then now we have a section, calculating determinants which I will move to the next video. Okay, so we have this, we have this definition of determinants, which we basically don't need to remember. All we need to know for now is that the determinant is a way of, give, of taking a matrix, a matrix, a square matrix, which has lots of numbers in it, of course, and giving you just one number, which somehow characterizes the matrix. Okay.